All right, well, um, uh, thank you everybody for coming. My name is Martin Rowe, and uh, like Rin, I am a publisher and a writer and a runner. And um, so thank you so much for coming. Uh, I'm going to give you an idea of what's going to happen today. And we've got a bunch of people here who knew Rin very well, and I'm going to ask them to share their memories of Rin, and then open it up for everybody to share their thoughts and memories about Rin. Um, I want to thank the people who organized this, Victoria Moran, who organized this room. <laughs> Roberta Schiff, who organized all the food. <laughs> and, uh, and Pam Rice, who is recording this event and for organizing the invitations. Uh, thank you for all bringing tremendous food. There's just huge amounts of food. We're worried there wouldn't be enough food, but the food has also been complemented by uh, Camel Cafe. Benet contributed the chimichurris and the meze plate. That's very kind of her. Thank you for that. And Guy Vaknin from Beyond Sushi as well. Uh, he contributed not only um, a plate, but he also contributed uh, some thoughts about Rim, which I'll just read right now. The measure of a man is not how he died but how he lived, not what he gained, but what did he give. Personally, Rin Berry gave us unwavering support. Since we've opened, he's come to our restaurant every week. So when our thoughts become overwhelmed by the sadness of his untimely passing, we are comforted by fond memories and try to think of all the good he's done. He's truly a model of what humankind should be. Everyone here at Beyond Sushi sends their kindest wishes. So, thank you. And Tell sushi, where too. Beyond Sushi is, because everyone now wants to go. And everybody can find out where Beyond Sushi is by picking up the literature that's on the back oh, table. All right. 229 East 14th Street. And it's 229 East 14th Street if you can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> but the literature's there all the time. And the table will be here for anyone back there. We don't buy there. I'd also like to... Um, take a moment to mention some honored guests who are here today. We'll shortly be hearing from Rin's brother, Charles, and I'd like to acknowledge him and his wife, Catherine, who is here, and their son, Nick, uh, and his girlfriend. And uh, Nick's brother, Sam, couldn't be here, he's working too hard. But of course, we're also here to remember the fact that 10 days after Rin died, uh, his brother, and Charles's brother, Peter, died uh, in Central Park from running and having a heart attack as well. So, uh, very shocking. So, we'll hear from Charles in a moment. I'd also like to acknowledge that, um, and I think Ren would love this, that in the audience today is Jane Cullen, who uh, in, 19, in the early 1980s began the only, or the first, as far as I know, the first... Um, series of books uh, from a publishing company anywhere in the world on animal rights. <clears throat> so it's a testament to Rin. <clears throat> and she is here today, he, him being a great writer and publisher. And next to her is uh, the philosopher Tom Reagan, author of The Case for Animal Rights and 49 other titles, I think is correct, right? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Tom is working with Christina and Charles and other members of the family to ensure that Rin's considerable archive of books on animals and vegetarianism, as well as all of his papers, end up at uh, the, animal, the Tom Reagan Animal Rights Archive at North Carolina State University, where they will be used by scholars and interested parties in perpetuity. So Rin's work will continue. So thank you for attending today. So, uh, without more ado, I will ask uh, Charles <coughs> if he could come up and uh, share a few words about uh, both his brothers. Okay. 